What's up? It's your boy, Servity Vlogger, in another techie kind of video. Now, this is going to be probably this is probably going to be the final um, Chromebook follow-up comparison between, but among the lines of like me showing you guys how I'm going to be using it over time in my vlogs and other views in the future. I will be doing you know more. I will, I will be showing you guys new tips and stuff on how to use Chrome OS when I learn more from it. But this, this is going to be the last one for a little bit. But stay, stay subscribed. Please do. Anyway, this is video. I'm just going to show you guys an, an operating system test. Show you guys which boots up faster, which one does which. On a comparison between Chrome OS versus Windows 10. Now, let's do this. Now, I'm going to have to try and boot, boot these up the same exact time. So, Or what well, not. So first, I'm going to start with the Chromebook. And yeah, Chromebook is on first because I, I booted it up first. Now the PC is firing up. The Chromebook is already at the screen where it's gonna ask me for my sign in. And the PC is still booting up. And the Chromebook has made it to the boot screen first. Yet the PC is still loading. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna record this free handedly now. So, Windows has has a lock screen, it's kind of like a, how an iPhone or an Android has its own lock screen, because this is this is meant for pretty much your Windows phone or tablet or and your PC. Chrome OS is designed for Chromebooks and Chrome devices. So then there is no Chrome phone. There's an Android phone with no Chrome phone. So I have to set my password here. You guys are probably wondering why I'm not using my laptop. Don't ask me why I'm not using that. That computer just is absolute shit. Now, the display of my PC is set to the, around the same level of brightness and contrast as my Chromebook is set to. Now, that, that doesn't mean that you know one's better than the other, but I'm using a VA-based monitor right here. If you guys know VA from from um, from uh, Let's see, okay, this VA, which is, I don't know, I forget. But anyway, it's a, it's a VA monitor. Um, this is just basic re resolution. It's pretty low, I guess. The, res the, re the resolution of my screen and fully working. I will notice one thing about Windows from Chrome OS is um, this has a desktop as you can put icons and stuff you can't do that with chrome os you can only put your things down here which i find kind of unfair and you can do so much more with windows than you could with chrome os so price yourself what do you, what can you do how do you launch certain things with pithic with windows well you gotta take your cursor go over here and open up your start menu now on Chrome OS, there's a thing down here where you can just do this, and this comes up. Now I'm seeing a difference from the Start menu and from the Address Searching Bar thingy. Oh, so you can pretty much it pretty much launches programs pretty well. It's almost instantly. Um, and the Chrome uh, it does the same thing. A speed test. Have a yeah. Do you guys want me to do a speed test? Oh, okay. I'll do a speed test. Here we go. So if you guys can't see too well, I apologize. I can't really get a fucking video picture here. So let's see if we can do this simultaneously. So I'm gonna launch Chrome on both devices simultaneously. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, my back is killing me. Man. Okay, that was a fail. But it looks like the Chromebook opened instantly. This took a, this hesitated a little bit to open. Among lines of speed and how things run on the machine, I think the, it, it will do that. Only because, um, Chrome OS, Chrome OS is a is a uh, runs off of a Linux kernel, 
and Linux is actually a much faster operating system category of operating system than Windows or Mac. But that doesn't mean it's it's good because it's faster. Maybe if you want to get things done in a hurry, but let's say you wanted to, you know, open an application on a Windows computer, basically. You can install things from the internet. Chrome OS, you cannot do that. It's kind of weird because what's the fun of having a computer if you can't install Minecraft or something or some hippie modern game that you want to watch or play or record gameplay of? You know, it makes you, it kind of... It may, it may not seem fair at times, um, but among the lines of that, I'd say a very good, very good computer for two hundred dollars, very good alternative. But I still like to use my PC for all my edits. Oh, speaking of which, I will be using my DSLR camera in next in my next vlogs. It's not a very good DSLR. It's an EOS for Bell T5. It's only four hundred dollars, not that much money. Pretty low budget DSLR, but. I'll be using it, I'll be editing it on my computer along with my phone vlogs. But I thought I'd try that for once. Another thing I noticed is the cursor for Chrome OS is dark, is pretty much black. Rather than on Windows, it's white. Now Mac OS has, has the same exact black cursor. I say that it must have ripped, someone must have ripped, must have ripped each other off. Like Chrome could have ripped off, you know, Mac or Mac could have ripped off, um, Chrome, I don't know. One of them did. Whoever came first. Now, I, I got, one of my subscribers um, commented on my most recent Chrome video from yesterday, and he said that in, um, apart from the from the Alt click, which can pretty much bring up anything that your left click can do or right click, he said they can double tap, two finger tap the mouse pad, the trackpad. And I actually was like, you know what, Why? I'll try that. So I did, and it works. Nice little tip. And I've, been, I've really, I appreciate you for recommending me this because it's a lot easier than just simply using your, using an you know, alt click. It's a very good alternative. I really, I wanna thank whomever uh, commented, but that's a very, good tri a very good tip. So thanks for that. But. On Windows, since it, since Chrome OS is programmed to just do this, this is all one single bar, as I said before, it's programmed to do that. So if you plugged in the mouse like this, the right click wouldn't work. It'd do the same exact thing that, you know, the left click would. But on here, you left click, you, 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 you right click, or you you left click, do, to, to does different things. Now... I'm gonna say this. Those of you who are Mac or Chrome users, if you ever want to become a YouTuber, like you know, Jack Septicai or Markiplier, or even like me, you want to edit with clips from a camera like this, then I recommend using a PC. You could use a Chromebook to edit your vids with, but it's not as as efficient or as quick or as easy as as a computer, PC, or Mac. Uh, but um, if you just want to do basic online web searches and emailing or your ever, your everyday task or even photography, I recommend this. Even though I'm not, I'm not much of an Android user, I I do like some Android apps, but they are not as good as my iOS apps. So that's pretty much it. Um, if I was going to choose one computer out of any of these, I would choose the Windows only because you can do more on it. And, I mean, Chrome OS is good and all, but it's not as good as Windows. I, I like Windows 1 because you can do more on it. Chrome OS is a very good operating system. Um, it's very good for web searches and pretty much your everyday tasks. But, um, yeah, it's pretty much all I can really say for this. Anyway, with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys have any other tech video ideas, please tell me in the comments below, and I'll see what I can do to do them and like always don't forget to peace out